and uh, that was a long time ago. So, if we had time to think about it, we might have thought of something cooler like the afters. It's easier to remember. Most of the time we pull into places and it says building 425 or something like that. Um, but our name comes from Ephesians 429. It says, like nothing wholesome come out of your mouth except that which is helpful for building others up. So there it is, building 429. It was like a youth group uh, challenge that these kids used to kind of hold each other accountable. That's it. And we are still building 429 when they get the sign right. Uh, the afters means dessert. <laughs> <laughs> that is true in some cases. We've actually been to restaurants. I guess in, in Ireland, the term the afters is used for desserts, the last course of the meal. Yes. And so in some Irish restaurants, at the very end, you'll see the afters. They'll be like bread fitting and stuff. But uh, well, the way we really got our name was uh, we, we were actually a, a band under a different name for a long time. We were called Bliss. Matt and I met at a Starbucks, and we started this band together, and for a long time, we kind of built up our following in Texas under the name Bliss. And then when we got signed, we found out that we couldn't use that name because there were a lot of other bands that called themselves Bliss. And apparently the way the, the law works, if there's another band that has that name, you can use the name, but you just have to stay out of their city. So there was a band in Chicago to use it. So we landed the afters, and uh, it's a term from like Middle Ages, England, Ireland, and they still use it in parts of England and Ireland today. And it was, it was during a, a class system, so if you had a really formal get-together, like a big banquet or a wedding or something really elaborate and extravagant, if you couldn't afford to get dressed up and go to the formal event, they would have something afterwards called the afters where the entire community would come together. So it didn't matter how much money you made or what class you were from, it was where the, the servants ate dinner and celebrated with the, the uh, nobles. So we thought that was kind of a cool idea. Everyone invited to the table with music for everyone. That's a really good story. Actually, those are both good stories. Uh, I'm John from Hawk House, and these are the boys, and uh, we do not have a good story like that. Um, we need our band name. Since I wasn't there, and Dan was, I'm going to let him share it. Okay, so we were, you know, we started the youth group, and we were downstairs at the church, and we put all of our ideas into a hat, and threw them out and read them. Like, it was really exciting. And these were the ideas. Bob's your uncle, Jim Dandy, <laughs> Chain Link and Hawk Nelson. Good choice. <laughs> and, and sure enough, Hawk Nelson is just kind of equally as bad as the rest of the time. I have no identity. The least bad. The least bad. And the dot com wasn't taken. And uh, to soar on wings like a hawk. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> hey, we are a fighting favorite. Josh is the name. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, our first band name was contagious. <laughs> contagious? Contagious. <laughs> we were in high school and people coughed around us all the time, so we were going to change it. Um, but it, uh, from that, just being contagious Christians and, you know, want to spread the word, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we, were, we were changing our name, we were looking through the word, we came across Proverbs 3, it says, if we live by God's words and His commandments, if we genuinely then we'll find favor with God and man. And so that's a heart that we'll always be finding favor with God and man. So. Nice. All right, that's great.